Hey, and welcome to LiveHive, where you can stay up to date with the latest updates about marketing, sales, and business. The customers you have are the best shot in maximizing your revenue as well as making the business highly profitable. In many different ways, improving customer success and relations and improving sales comes down to creating and maintaining the bulletproof customer experience. Customer retention refers to a company's ability to keep its customers over time, which in turn means they continue to buy the products and services. So we have some interesting content for you, so don't forget to subscribe to LiveHive for more riveting content. Just one click on the bell icon and stay with us. Now let's begin with the five customer retention strategies that work. Number one, identify churn, then stop it before it happens. Measuring and understanding customer churn rates are highly valuable. However, it's only truly effective if you have a full view of your customers. With access to data relating to demographics, preferences, order history, channel use, and contact center transcripts, you can identify customers who have churned and their reasons for churning, poor customer experience, or the terms of a contract or particular service. With the information about the customer at hand, you can take the necessary steps towards your customer retention strategy and improve the elements of the business which are falling short. Furthermore, with a big enough data set and access to predictive analytics, you'll be able to take things one step further and be able to identify in real time when a customer is about to churn, enabling you to take proactive steps to stop that person from leaving. Number two, map your customer journeys. Customer journey mapping, also called user journey mapping, is the process of creating a customer journey map, a visual story of your customer's interactions with your brand. It allows you to gain insights into customer pain points and how to improve those. Firstly, all the possible customer touch points are mapped out. For instance, a website, social channels, and interactions with marketing and sales teams. User journeys are then created across these various touch points for each buyer persona. For example, a millennial buyer persona may typically become aware of a product on social, research it on the mobile version of your site, and finally make a purchase on a desktop computer. The customer experience at each touch point should be included in a customer journey map. This can include what action the customer needs to take and how your brand responds. Mapping the customer journey helps you remove pain points, reduce friction, and identify opportunities for targeted communication. Number three, measure customer lifetime value. Who are your most important customers and what are you doing to keep them happy? Calculating customer lifetime value, or CLV, helps you recognize different customer types, those that spend the most, the most often, and those who could be encouraged to spend more. Also, those who need encouragement to keep on being customers. Understanding these different personas helps you improve how you target your selling and take a step towards personalizing publicity. It also lets you identify and then treat your most valuable customers like VIPs. Offer them a preferential service, deeper discounts, and access to better promotions. This in turn helps you promote your company and attract new customers, as well as keeping existing customers happy. Your most engaged customers are the ones most likely to advocate for your brand, spreading the word on social and recommending you directly to their immediate friends and family. Number four, value the customer feedback and work on them. Not long ago, brands started to feel like customer surveys are dead as they've lost their efficacy as customer retention marketing techniques. However, they're very much alive and kicking. Maybe you haven't been able to come up with an interesting survey for the customers to complete and not efficient enough to offer you a genuine and actionable pulse check. One notable example is the skincare essential brand Glossier, which has a dedicated team working on feedback collection and personally responding to feedback. Also, things don't end here as the brand genuinely works on the feedback to deliver modified products. They have an amazing reputation among their customers. Number five, measure customer effort. On a scale of very easy to very difficult, how easy is it for customers to engage with your business? If you don't know that answer, how can you take the necessary steps to improve products, services, and CX to ensure that customers aren't being forced to exert huge amounts of efforts to resolve even simple issues? The more effort a customer puts to find information, to make a purchase, and talk to an advisor, or get the answers they need, the more loyal they are to your company. By using Customer Effort Score, or CES surveys, you can find out how you measure up on each stage of the customer journey. Organizations with a high CES score have lower churn rates, higher advocacy, and lower cost to serve. So these were the five customer retention strategies that work. Let us know in the comment section which of the five customer retention strategies affect your business the most. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe so you can join the LiveHive squad and be part of our channel. Thanks for watching the video.